My name is Emily and I'm part of the Legendary Food Network. Today we're going to be exploring different places around the city, looking at local, fresh and seasonal produce and then giving them to two different local chefs who are going to make their own different meals with the produce that we give them. So check out what we're going to be doing next and I hope you enjoy it. Here we are at Longfield Farm just down the road from City of Derry Airport and there's a local farm shop here that is reducing carbon emissions and making healthy farm produce accessible to all. Let's go check it out. Welcome to uh, Hunter's Vending. Thank you. As you see, we're located beside City of Derry Airport on the main uh, Derry to uh, Corian Road. Uh, very accessible. We've been going here for uh, about three years. Uh, selling local vegetables and eggs. It's absolutely fantastic. And what has piqued your interest in sustainability and making such good wholesome food accessible? Well, we've been farming here. My father started the farm here about 60 years ago. Uh, we always grew potatoes. Uh, we used to sell to shops and sell to merchants. We grew about 20 acres. Then we had the idea about 30 years ago to sell potatoes from the yard. Three years ago, I decided I would get the 300 free-range hens. So wow. we now sell free-range eggs, and along with the potatoes. Recently, I started uh, just right beside the vending machine here to grow carrots, uh, kale, cabbage, uh, cauliflower and broccoli when they're in season. So really after seasonal, fresh, local food. Here there's a few farmers starting now to uh, do this kind of thing and we're looking to promote local food. Well hey, thank you for your time. I think we're going to check out some of your leeks. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. Seven Oaks and we are doing urban farming and we're here with Harvey who's one of the I Can Grow growers. Hi. Harvey, what got you into farming? Uh, good question. Uh, not like many other people. Um, it started off, my kids when they were young didn't like frozen peas. Okay. And I thought, ah, I know what, I'll grow some. And I built two veg beds out in the garden and grew some peas and then I bought a grapevine and then I extended the veg beds and built a polytunnel, uh, <laughs> and, and now I've got a five meter by five meter uh, greenhouse made of scrap wood and glass, and which I've grown over the past, and currently uh, peas, obviously, um, tomatoes, both ordinary and cherry tomatoes. Um, there's a grapevine there, I've got a rosemary plant in there, uh, and lots of strawberries, lots oh, and lots cool. of strawberries. That's really cool, so like, no pun intended, but this is literally, grown massively from just starting with peas to now you're you're providing a lot of produce fresh produce for your yeah. family yeah yeah um it, it it snowballed because i realized one how much fun it was yeah how much i got out of it and two it's almost instantly gratifying yeah you dig oh, up weeds yeah. you've done a job as now ground prepared you put plant in a seed, the seed grows into a seedling, the seedling grows into a plant, the plant produces flowers and then, then fruit, and then, then you pick them and then you eat them. Well, thank you for your time. I think we're really excited to see what our chefs are going to be making with the beetroot. And, so um, am I. Yeah, <laughs> and it, I think it's, this is a great example of seeing how you can grow something super simple at home for very little money and, yeah. and it benefits. You're in an urban environment growing a garden in your backyard. So thank you. You are. Here we are in the heart of the city and we're at the Hollywell Trust off Bishop Street where we're going to go and look at some urban gardening up on a rooftop which is one of the most unlikely places that you might consider somewhere to grow. So come on in and let's check it out. We are 
on the top of the Hollywell Trust on the rooftop, which Gemma, this is one of the most unexpected places to have a garden. And can you tell us more about this? How did yeah. it start? We designed the building and when we designed it, we wanted a roof garden. And that's what we have here. We have solar and other things here that are environmentally friendly. But the first stage of the development of the plants was these black planters. Okay. And that was funded by Grow Wild, led by Q Botanical Gardens. And we have wildflowers. And the importance of them was for pollinators, uh, our native species wildflowers for native pollinators. The second phase then was these four vegetable planters. You can see the different colours, the older ones and then the newer ones. <laughs> and that was funded by Acorn Fund here, a local uh, women's phil philanthropic group. And we grew vegetables. We needed more for proper rotation of the plants for health. And we got sec second funding for vegetable planters from Keep Northern Ireland Beautiful. Last July, June we got it, and by July we had them in situ. Wow. And I had started off some plants. So the kale, celery, spinach went in then. A few sunflowers as well at that time, so they're gone now, obviously. <laughs> so when you're growing locally, you're cutting out all that food mouth. Yeah. You have an easily accessible, healthy, nutritious food source. Yeah. Cheap for yeah. the, we have crisis and poverty. So cost effective. Yeah, yeah, and there's so many benefits of having it here. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, hey, thank you for doing your part and thank you for showing us this incredible space. It's just eye-opening. Thank you. at El Tapas Gra, where we're gonna meet Chef Mike Mango, and we're bringing him our fresh, seasonal, and local produce that we've collected at our three locations. We're gonna see what he's gonna make with it. Come on and join us. Hi, I'm Mike, Chef Mike Mango, and we're here at El Tapas Gra today, and we're gonna make a leek and charred beetroot and feta cheese dip with our homemade flatbread, and all these lovely vegetables that I received today, with some beautiful leeks here, with some nice beetroot, some leek flowers that we're gonna garnish, garnish with. So let's get cooking. restaurant on Bonds Hill where Chef Ian Orr is going to be making some really delicious tasty things with all of these treats that we gathered today. So guys I am Chef Ian Orr from Brown's Restaurant and today I'm cooking this fantastic basket of amazing local produce all from the city of Derry, Londonderry. So I've got some amazing leeks, I've got some beautiful Cabo Nero, these are beautiful wild leeks, beautiful beetroot, some of this stuff has been grown on farms, some have been grown on top of people's houses, absolutely amazing. So today I'm cooking a fantastic beetroot and leek tartatan with some amazing white leeks through it, some lovely balsamic and some sea salt. 